tea. My pleasure. It's brought back so many memories, and now I'm going to really, really think now about every gold buzz I ever give. Because <laughs> when we do to. this show again, no. yeah, That's it's right. kind of like, God, you know what? They really mean something. That's right. Yeah. You're my homie. You know that. Oh, I, I love do you, brother. You. You're my brother. I really do. <laughs> Central on NBC. It's 11 o'clock. AmeriGuard Security would like to remind you to set your alarm and check your cameras. Trust only the best. Protect your family, home, or business with 24-7 armed response. Remember, AmeriGuard's it. KC24 News begins with your forecast first from your local weather authority. Good evening, I'm Esteban Reynoso. Taking a live look outside, right outside of our KC24 studios. This is our Valley Cam here, and you could see clear skies all the way down to the skyline of Fresno again, which is good news because that means the Washburn fire smoke hasn't really come down south towards Fresno here. So now we're taking a look at the temperatures outside right now. Still 88 degrees in Fresno, 84 in Visalia, Hanford, and Porterville, and a cool, nice 78, 79 up in Merced in the North Valley. And and then here is our satellite and radar. And if you look at the very, very top of your screen, you could see a little bit of smoke there. That's coming from the Washburn fire, but overall clear skies throughout the rest of the Center Valley. And that's going to be your forecast for the next 12 hours. KC24 News at 11 starts right now. Local news that matters. This is KC24 News at 11. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Juanita Adama in for Jennifer Ortega. The Washburn fire continues to grow at a rapid pace up near Yosemite National Park. The fire is now in its fourth day and has burned over 2,000 acres. A full response team consisting of Yosemite National Park's fire resources as well as state and local crews have been called out. The area was evacuated and Highway 41's Wawona Road is closed from the south entrance to the Hennis Ridge Road. The fire is burning in difficult terrain with the large brush and dead trees that serve as a fuel for the fire. According to park officials, the Mariposa the grove is also currently closed. That grove is also home to more than 500 mature giant sequoias. Resources will continue to arrive to help fight this fire in the coming days. And a new dispensary is coming to Fresno. They have some big plans for their business and what they are expecting from their customers. KC24's Natalie Vera has that story. Well, this is one of 21 retail pot shops set to open here in the city of Fresno. And actually, the Artist Tree was the first dispensary to open out in West Hollywood. And now they're bringing their products here to the Central Valley. Welcome to the Artist Tree. The shop is scoring high as the city's first retail cannabis dispensary. We are so excited to be bringing the artistry here to Fresno. The store is a joint art gallery. What we hope that you find when you come to the artist tree is not only top quality cannabis products from throughout the state of California, but also an opportunity to support your local artist. The artist tree is having a soft opening on Monday, but it took a while to get here. Over the last five years, the city has gone through public hearings and changes to its marijuana law. The shop says it's playing by the rules. You can only get into the artist tree by having proper ID that is checked out front and we have 24 hour security. Courtney Carone says all their stuff is safe. All of the products that we sell are purchased through licensed distributors and licensed cultivators and manufacturers in the state of California. So that means that each one of these products has gone through a whole line of testing before it ever makes it to the shelf in an artist tree store. These shelves carry 800 different products. Maybe you're interested in flour or you're interested in a vape cartridge, you might be interested in a topical or even gummies. They've also got a cultivator.
Innovation Q. What happens here is plants that um, are never going to be given an opportunity to flower, so the lights will stay on the entire time, are planted in our, our uh, planters, and you can purchase those for sale if you're interested in growing a plant at home um, yourself. And the artistry is having its grand opening on Saturday, July 23rd, starting at 8 a.m. Reporting in Fresno, Natalie Vera, back to you. And three people were injured and one person was killed following a shooting a Saturday night. This happened in Tulare. It was in the 1000 block of Stony Creek Road. There were reports of shots being fired. And when police arrived, they found three people suffering from gunshot wounds. They were all transported to area hospitals. One of those victims did not survive. The name of that victim has not been released at this time. Anyone with information is asked to call the Tulare Police Department. And an early morning ATV crash in Colinga has left one person dead. The ATV accident happened right before 3 a.m. this morning in the area of Phelps Avenue and Calaveras Avenue. The California Highway Patrol reported that two males were riding the ATV when the driver then lost control, causing it to overturn. The driver died en route to the hospital. The passenger suffered moderate injuries. And coming up later, terrifying moments for a New Mexico mom as her car gets taken while her children are inside. Taking a look at the top temperatures from today, it was 100 in Madera, Hanford, Porterville almost hit 100, Lemoore at 101, and in Fresno at 99, almost hitting that 100 mark. And this is your four-day allergy forecast brought to you by Boz Allergy, Asthma, and Sinus Center. The top pollens are going to be juniper, privet, and grass. Medium levels the next four days. I'm waking up my day. the fastest growing cable news network in America? I'll give you a hint. It's News Nation. We're new and we're different. If you're looking for news without the noise, come back to the news the way it used to be. News Nation. News for all America. California voters beware. Prop 27 is being promoted by out-of-state gambling corporations. It would authorize a massive expansion of online sports gambling in California, turning every cell phone, laptop, tablet, and even video game console into a gambling device. Opening up online gambling to anyone, anywhere, anytime. That could lead to more addiction, financial ruin, and homelessness while exposing millions of children to online gambling. Vote no on 27, the corporate online gambling proposition. I'm Mike Osborne with OsborneHomes.com and I want to buy your house. I'll make you an as-is cash offer on your house within 24 hours. Whether it's a total fixer-upper or in perfect condition, OsborneHomes.com is the easiest way to sell your house. When you sell your house to OsborneHomes.com, there's no fees, no commissions, no banks, and no repairs. Just go to OsborneHomes.com for a free, no obligation, cash offer 24 hours a day. That's OsborneHomes.com. We all want the best for our planet, but sorting food waste at home can be confusing. Mid Valley Disposal is here to help our communities with the recent changes to green waste disposal. Our state-of-the-art composting facility combines food scraps and green waste into nutrient-rich compost. That keeps food waste out of landfills, an important step in contributing to a cleaner and healthier Central Valley. We promise to do our part as you continue to do yours. Learn more at midvalleydisposal.com. 
Good evening, I'm Esteban Reynoso, and here are your weather headlines for this week. It's going to be sunny skies throughout this entire week, but that is going to come with some heat. So be sure to get ready for it. Today was just a little taste because we're going to hit triple digits in Fresno over the next few days. And that's what is on the way here, as well as some extreme heat that's going to come on the way on Monday, Tuesday, and on Wednesday. And taking a live look outside of our Valley Cam, this is right outside of our KC24 studios which is good news because it's still clear skies out there all the way to downtown Fresno. You could st still see the skyline, which is good news. That means the Washburn fire smoke hasn't really reached our area just yet. And now taking a look at our three day for our almanac here. It was a 99 in Fresno, very hot 99, almost hit the triple digits and just a little bit above average at 98. Luckily, we didn't even come close to that 2008 record of 112 degrees. The low was at 68, which is just right about average for this time of year. And here's a look at our wind speed and direction. So not a lot of movement up there in Merced, but as you go south into the Central Valley, you're gonna see a little bit more wind speed. Five in Madera, seven in Fresno and Visalia. Not a lot to worry about here, which is good news, especially for the Washburn fire that's gonna be a little bit more on the north side of our map here. And here's a look at the temperatures right outside. So it's 88 in Fresno, still pretty toasty out there. 84 in Hanford and Visalia and Porterville, but still a little bit cooler in the North Valley with Merced and Madera at under 80 degrees. And then you're going to take a look at the 24 hour change. So in Madera, Fresno and Visalia, we saw a three degree difference over the past 24 hours. Merced stayed about the same. So overall, these are about the average temperatures that we're going to be in at this time of year for mid July. And here's a look at our live radar right now. Now, if you look just above Oak Ridge, you're going to see a little bit of puffs of smoke every now and then. That is from the Washburn fire, but overall, it's going to be clear skies throughout the rest of the Central Valley all the way until Monday tomorrow. And it's still going to be clear skies, like I said, sunny skies for the rest of this week. Not a lot of change other than just heat and clear skies. And here's a look at the valley temperatures. Overnight lows, 73 in Fresno, 67 up in Oakhurst, 60 in Yosemite, 65 in Merced. And so we're gonna stay in about the low 70s to mid 60s in the Central Valley, throughout the Central Valley. But here we go, tomorrow you're gonna see a big, big heat up. 94 in Yosemite, 106 in triple digits. Just keep on going all the way throughout the Central Valley. It's going to be the hottest day of the year tomorrow, so be sure to wear bright colors and stay in the shade as long as possible, as well as stay hydrated. And then here's a look at the air quality for tomorrow. It's going to be yellow all the way around. It's going to be moderate air quality. So still the, the Washburn fire has kind of affected air quality a little bit in the Central Valley, but not as much as it could do. So it's good that we're not getting a lot of damage here from the smoke. A look at your solar forecast tomorrow, 33,000 megawatt hours Tuesday and Wednesday at 28,000. Your forecast for tonight, it's going to be a nice 73 degrees, clear for the most part throughout the day, and tomorrow, a high of 106 degrees in Fresno and Clovis. And then here's a look at your five-day forecast. You're going to see a lot of heat this week. Like I said, 106. Tomorrow is going to be the hottest day of the week, and we're going to stay in the triple digits for the next two days after that. So be sure to stay in the shade and stay hydrated. Thank you, Esteban. Coming up next in sports, the Fresno Grizzlies are the lowriders this weekend. Angelique Martinez joins us with that. Ange. Yeah, Juanita, the Grizz traded in their uniforms for a whole new color scheme as they close out their six-game series against the Giants. Coming up, highlights from Chuck Chansey Park as Fresno looks to cruise past San Jose. That and more next in Sports Central. Reading Extravaganza gave thousands of books to our kids. Education matters. That's why KC24 and Reading Heart teamed up for the free family event at Storyland with games, giveaways, and story time. KC24 believes in the power of education. KC24 is brought to you in part by ServPro of Clovis, Visalia, Fresno, and Shaver. Accelerated Urgent Care is now offering rapid COVID testing. Receive your COVID-19 results on site in just 10 minutes. That's right, COVID-19 results in just 10 minutes. Accelerated Urgent Care, expert care on your time. At USAA, we've been called too exclusive because we only serve those who honorably serve. All ranks, all branches, and their eligible family members. 
Yep, that is exclusive, and we're fine with that. The road can be a crazy place. Uh-oh. That's why Let's Drop Tires fixes brakes, steering, and more. And those guys don't. Ugh, keep driving. I'm just glad Les Schraub puts my safety first, so I can backseat drive with confidence. Hit the road safely with Les Schwab and save up to $150 when you buy select tires with financing. Les Schwab Tires, celebrating 70 years of doing the right thing. Owning your own home is a dream come true. So many Californians never missed a mortgage payment before COVID. The pandemic hit all of us hard. We could use a fresh start. If you've missed mortgage payments during COVID, California Mortgage Relief can help save your home. Direct payments to your lender to cover missed payments. No fees, nothing to pay back. Find out if you qualify today. CAMortgageRelief.org Fact. Everything mechanical breaks down without maintenance. Same goes for solar systems, Helen. Even solar systems. Yeah, I'm something of an expert on solar, and trust me, some of them are wasting my energy. And wasting energy is wasting money. That's why Solar Negotiators is the only company where everything's included. Lifetime monitoring and maintenance. Because if you're paying for me, get all of me. Um, a little weird, son. Call us today for a lifetime of solar success. Welcome aboard. Jets Plus Private Charter Service spans the globe and ensures top quality customer service every time. Business or pleasure, choose to fly the very best. Book Jets Plus today and welcome aboard. Accelerated Urgent Care is now offering rapid COVID testing. Receive your COVID-19 results on site in just 10 minutes. That's right, COVID-19 results in just 10 minutes. Accelerated Urgent Care, expert care on your time. Sports Central, presented by Toyota. In the California League, our Central Valley minor league teams continue their home stands. The Grizzlies are the lowriders taking on San Jose, while the Rawhide close things out against the Storm in Visalia. It's also the lowriders car show at Chuck Chansey Park. Fans had a chance to check out some cars during the game. The riders are looking for their fifth straight win over the Giants in Sunday's series finale. Top of the second, we're scoreless. Victor Barracoto chops it through the infield. Fresno turns out a double play for a quick two outs, and they get themselves out of trouble. But we're still scoreless heading into the fourth inning. Top of the fourth now, Barracoto rips it into a gap out into left center. Carter Williams hustles his way home from second. He collides with the Grizzlies catcher, but is safe. Giants get on the board first and take a 1-0 lead. But the Lowriders power back. Fresno wins its fifth straight 3-2 over San Jose. Meanwhile, the Rawhide suffered their 52nd loss of the season. The Storm defeated Visalia 8-5. The Hyde have been struggling throughout the entire year. Visalia looks to bounce back on Tuesday when they head to San Jose. In the majors on Sunday, the Dodgers continue to homestand against the Chicago Cubs, while the Giants wrap up a lengthy road trip, closing out their series in San Diego. The Dodgers are now riding a seven-game win streak. L.A. defeated the Cubs 11-9. The Dodgers will now hit the road themselves to St. Louis on Tuesday. Meanwhile, the Giants split their four-game series with the Padres. The Giants defeated San Diego 12-0 on Sunday. San Francisco is still third in the NL West, 12 and a half games back from the first place Dodgers. The 2022 American Century Championship wrapped up on Sunday in Lake Tahoe. Former Fresno State Bulldog and current Raiders QB Derek Carr finished 21st overall. Tony Romo won the championship for the third time in a three-man playoff. And check out this video that Derek Carr shared to his Instagram. Carr and Miami Heat guard Kyle Lowry taking shots while signing autographs and both going back to back from deep. The American Century Championship had 87 players in the field from athletes to actors, Hall of Famers and musicians. The tournament has raised over $6 million for charities over the years. And that's going to do it for sports. KC24 News continues after this.
The early bird wins more. Buy your Granville Home of Hope ticket now. If you're living with chronic pain, it's time to call Innovative Medical Center. I created Innovative Medical Center to help people regain their quality of life without the use of drugs or surgeries. Discover a holistic approach to treating pain. Call Innovative Medical Center today. So I climbed into the cab and then I settled down inside. I've been everywhere, man. I've been everywhere, man. I've traveled, I've had my share, man. I've been everywhere. When moderate to severe ulcerative colitis persists, put it in check with Rinvoke, a once daily pill. When UC got unpredictable, I got rapid symptom relief with Rinvoke. Check. When UC held me back, I got lasting steroid free remission with Rinvoke. Check. And when UC got the upper hand, Rinvoke helped, helped visibly repair the, the colon lining. lining. Check. Check. Rapid symptom relief, lasting steroid free remission, and a chance to visibly repair the colon lining. Check, check, and check. Rinvoke can lower your ability to fight infections, including TB, serious infections and blood clots, some fatal, cancers, including lymphoma and skin cancer, death, heart attack, stroke, and tears in the stomach or intestines occurred. People 50 and older with at least one heart disease risk factor have higher risks. Don't take if allergic to Rinvoke, as serious reactions can occur. Tell your doctor if you are or may become pregnant. Put UC in check and keep it there with Rinvoke. Ask your gastroenterologist about Rinvoke and learn how AbbVie could help you save. Education matters at KC24, and we're dedicated to bringing you inspirational stories of students finding new ways to strive for success. Watch these Education Matters stories now at yourcentralvalley.com. Just click Education. Attention back pain sufferers. If you've had an injury that resulted in a bulged or herniated disc and were told that you needed surgery, you need to come in and try the NDS method. Our NDS or no disc surgery can help you avoid surgery. Call Innovative Medical Center today. This is KC24 News at 11. Well, with gas prices so high, people across the country are feeling the pain at the gas pump. This has prompted gas thieves to also strike. Bailey Hurley has more. Since the beginning of the year, Fargo police say the department has taken a total of three reports of gas being siphoned out of someone's vehicle. Meanwhile, West Fargo and Moorhead police say they don't have any reports, but experts say that doesn't mean it can't or won't happen. It is more reality that you, everybody has to be on guard about just due to the fact of the gas prices. You know, it's liquid gold at this point. But the good news is newer vehicles have a handful of fail safes to prevent the siphoning of your fuel, like your tank being locked from the inside of your vehicle, as well as check valves that make it harder for thieves to put a tube down your tank. Obviously, with enough practice, enough time, um, they can kind of get around that, but they'd first have to be able to enter into your um, gas cap and your gas tank system. For vehicles without those added measures, Koffler suggests getting a gas cap lock and both he and police say it's best to set yourself up for success each time you park your vehicle. You know, park your car in a garage. If you don't have a garage, park in a well-lit area. You know, people don't like to steal things if they're able to be seen. And scary moments for a lifeguard in training who believes he was bit by a shark while training. Pei Chang has that story. John Mullins shows us his stitches, five in total, where he believes a shark bit him yesterday. I realized that it was a shark. I looked at my foot and when we were, uh, when we reached where I could stand, I was like, oh my God, I'm bleeding. The 17-year-old Islip High School senior was training for his lifeguard test, playing the role of a victim and treading water 100 yards from shore off Ocean Beach, only to become an actual victim. It kind of felt like a... The teeth were like inside my skin and when I pulled my foot out, it kind of just felt like a scrape, like a rake going uh, up my foot. Mullen said the water was murky yesterday and he never saw the shark, but he knew he wanted out of the water. Oh, I swam as fast as I could. And the guy next to me, he's a surfer, so he knows everything about sharks. He's like, yo, don't splash. I was like, nah, I got to get in. <laughs> I was terrified. It was scary. Ocean Beach was briefly closed for swimming after the attack. This marks the second time this week a lifeguard was bitten by a shark while training in the ocean. Lifeguard Zach Gallo was bitten in the hand and chest. It's always in the back of your mind, I'm going to be honest. Uh, we always talk amongst ourselves and be like, yo, we're like shark bait out there. And a New Mexico mom was reunited with her children after a terrifying carjacking, and it was all caught on camera. Priscilla Thompson has that story. I have two babies in there. 
It looks like a stunt only seen in movies, but for Melody Maldonado, this was very real. New video shows her clinging to the hood of her SUV as her hijacked car barrels through an intersection. A daring rescue attempt to save her 11-month-old son and her 6-year-old autistic daughter. The 33-year-old mother tells the Daily Mail she banged on the windshield and yelled for the suspect to stop. She was eventually thrown off the hood and broke her foot. Still, she ran to a convenience store to call 911. She was going that way and she was going all crazy. The incident happened at a gas station in Hobbs, New Mexico on the 4th of July. Maldonado stopped in to buy a baby bottle with her children waiting in the car. Police say when she returned, a woman pushed her out of the way and tried to take off. In all the years that, that I've been working, I, I don't remember anything quite like this. The suspect, 29-year-old Regina Castillo, allegedly dumped the 6-year-old at an intersection before abandoning the car with the 11-month-old still inside. You serious? Castillo, who had three active warrants at the time of her arrest, now facing a trio of felony charges, including unlawful taking of a motor vehicle and two counts of child abuse. All right, Within half an hour, the family was reunited. I think we have officers that found the vehicle. The children, who were treated by EMS, returned safely to the arms of their mom after a harrowing ride. Priscilla Thompson, NBC News. And when we come back, an underwater concert in Florida comes with a positive message. At KC24, Community Matters. During our Founders Day of Caring, we partnered with our community food bank and you gave over 1,000 pounds of peanut butter and enough cash for over 17,000 meals. Keep the giving going. Scan the QR code to donate. This burger will blow your mind. Really? How? Bacon two ways. Cheese two ways? Any more questions? Try my $5.99 double bacon cheesy jack combo. I was not confident in my teeth at all before I had braces. I had gaps in my teeth. My teeth were uneven. Dr. Tom and his team definitely made us feel very comfortable. They did treat me like family. They did treat us like family. Yes. <laughs> I was comfortable to ask them any questions about my teeth, and they would give me an honest answer, and I really appreciated that. I was surprised just with how quick it was. Fast Dental Fresno made it super easy, and in as little as four months, I had my dream smile. I would absolutely recommend it. You want to feel important. You want to be a part of something bigger, something that matters and can help change things. You want to feel like you belong. We know. We felt that way too. And that's why we did something about it. We aren't just Army National Guard soldiers. We are normal people just like you. And together, we can make a difference. Take on your legacy. Visit NationalGuard.com to find out more. Alivex. Its revolutionary rollerball design delivers fast, powerful, long-lasting pain relief. Alive it and see what's possible. My 100% beef burgers are seasoned as they grill. Like my new double bacon cheesy jack. With double the bacon and double the cheese. It's so good, I put my name on it. The double bacon cheesy jack combo starting at $5.99. Order on the Jack app today. Next week on KC24 Sunrise, a way to let out some rage. We'll give you a look inside Fresno Rage Room. And Fresno's first cannabis dispensary is opening. You need some rage and then a little calming. All that and more next week on KC Sunrise. And finally, check this out. Divers played music underwater. This was out at the annual Lower Keys Underwater Music Festival. This took place over the weekend in Florida. So there is a music that's played underground through speakers, but it's not just music that's played. The festival is also meant to bring attention to the coral reef protection and encourage environmentally responsible diving. Music was played underwater through speakers suspended beneath the boats. Participants including those dressed as mermaids and other sea creatures had the opportunity to explore these reefs. So that's an interesting event over in Florida and it comes with a good message. So thank you everybody for joining us. We will be back tomorrow. Hopefully join it. Hopefully you'll join us then. Good night.
Hi everyone, I'm Dwayne Peralta, President of Personal Express Insurance. For nearly 40 years, Personal Express has been known in the Central Valley for our great rates. But our customers also come with us and stay with us because of what we like to call our local advantage. I'd like to invite you to stop by any of our locations to find out just what the Personal Express local advantage means to you. With offices in Fresno, Clovis, and Visalia. Great rates with the local advantage. Personal Express Insurance. Experience the possibilities of anti-aging medicine at Maj Medical Clinic. Dr. Majubi's treatment uses the healing benefits of your own stem cells for your optimum health. I had stabbing pains in my legs from the neuropathy. I did a lot of research and it kept coming up with uh, stem cells. It was a miracle, honestly. I felt better the next day. If you're suffering from asthma, COPD, arthritis, autoimmune disease, or other neurologic conditions, call Maj Medical Clinic and see if stem cell treatment and cellular therapy are right for you. We all want the best for our planet, but sorting food waste at home can be confusing. Mid-Valley Disposal is here to help our communities with the recent changes to green waste disposal. Our state-of-the-art composting facility combines food scraps and green waste into nutrient-rich compost. That keeps food waste out of landfills, an important step in contributing to a cleaner and healthier Central Valley. We promise to do our part as you continue to do yours. Learn more at midvalleydisposal.com. Now your centralvalley.com pros who know. Swelling, cramping, and redness in your legs can be signs of circulatory issues. See your doctor and keep moving to keep your blood flowing. For more expert advice, go to yourcentralvalley.com slash pros who know. The following paid commercial program does not reflect the opinions and views of Nexstar Broadcasting Incorporated, this station, or their employees and affiliates. The following is a paid presentation for the Good Feet Store, improving the quality of people's lives, two feet at a time. Is foot pain or discomfort preventing you from enjoying the activities you love? Do you suffer with knee, hip, or back pain? Would you love to be more comfortable when you stand or walk, be more productive at work, enjoy your favorite activities, and go about your daily life without pain holding you back? If you've been searching for relief from the pain commonly associated with foot conditions like plantar fasciitis, bunions, corns, hammer toe, and others, or if you simply want to get back to doing the things you enjoy, today's program can be life-changing. You'll discover how it could be possible for you to live the life you love without the pain getting in your way. For over 20 years, the Good Feet Store has been improving the quality of people's lives, two feet at a time. Art supports from the Good Feet Store are designed to help alleviate, even eliminate, foot, knee, hip, or back pain. They can also help those who want to simply be more comfortable, feel more energetic, improve their balance, and perform better. Pain in my feet was excruciating. My feet were hurting so bad, I had plantar fasciitis. And then all of a sudden, I just get these art supports and I'm just able to get out of bed and do my normal activity without any pain. It changed my life drastically. I was fitted with some uh, art supports. To my amazement, I was like, wow, it really does work. Without good feet, I don't know if I would have kept dancing. And if that pain would have continued, I don't know if I would even be where I am today. I'm just happier. I, can, I feel happier. The art supports are never coming out of my shoes. On today's program, you'll discover how you may be able to find relief from pain, allowing you to enjoy the activities you love, play longer, perform better, and be happier and more productive at work. You're about to discover how you, too, can live the life you love by visiting the Good Feet Store, dedicated to improving the quality of people's lives, two feet at a time. Hello and welcome. I'm Rachel Reinstra. If you've been suffering with foot pain, or even knee, hip, or back pain, and have been searching for a solution, today's program can be life-changing. You'll learn about how Good Feet Arch Supports from the Good Feet Store can help alleviate even eliminate your pain. You'll also learn how Good Feet Arch Supports can help with improving your balance, performance, and overall comfort. So you can get back out there enjoying all the things you love to do, work more comfortably, and go about your daily activities with just more energy. Look, I know so many of you have tried all kinds of things to relieve your pain that just didn't work. You've been endlessly searching, wasting money, and even giving up hope. But if you think that you've tried everything out there, well, you probably haven't tried Arch Supports from the Good Feet Store. Today, you'll hear from real people who have had life-changing experiences with Good Feet Arch Supports. So let's watch as they share their Good Feet stories. 
I started noticing that at the end of my shift, the pain was so much that I couldn't really focus on my job. I had no idea what was going on. Get up in the morning and it felt like I was standing on marbles on my heel. The pain traveled from my feet all the way up to my knees and then it started affecting my back. The pain level was over 10 and my doctor recommended that I go to Good Feet. When I walked into the Good Feet store, I said my feet hurt and uh, they says, well, let's see if we can do something about that. She said, I want you to try an arch support. So she put it in my shoe took about three, four steps, turned around and went and sat back down and started to cry. It was the first time that I had no pain. So I went into the store three years ago. Ever since then, no pain. You put in the art supports and your day becomes better and the sun shines and the unicorns run by and you know, it's a good life. Now that I have the good feet arch supports, I don't have to pretend to be happy. I'm genuinely happy. Have you been endlessly searching for a solution to relieve your foot, knee, hip, or back pain? Trying all kinds of things that didn't work? Even losing hope? Well, if you think you've tried everything, you probably haven't tried Good Feet Arch Supports. Good Feet Arch Supports are designed to place feet in their ideal position to more evenly distribute body weight and improve body alignment. Good Feet Arch Supports are only available at the Good Feet store. They're not sold in drug stores, department stores, or online. So take the first step and try them for yourself by stopping in at your local Good Feet store for your free, personalized fitting and test walk. Good Feet Arch Supports are available exclusively at the Good Feet store. For over 20 years, they've helped people to alleviate even a...